what motivated you? What drove you, Ali, as 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 a Turkish Kurdish boy from North London? Your parents are not really that practicing as Muslims. Maybe they weren't even Muslims. Mm. Yeah, your your father being you've spoken about it before being very heavily against Islam. Mm. What motivated you to start to become a Muslim and think, okay, I want to give dawah? Mm. I think yeah, I was I was thinking about this. if you go into some comments in maybe two thousand early two thousand and eight two thousand and nine maybe two thousand and ten. <coughs> I was. I, f- I thought to myself. I was actually involved in that. I would have debates on the comment section on YouTube yeah. on the Ahmedidas videos. Wow! Like a proper long like, discussion. And I those comments are still there. I think they might be. I want to one day go and look at them. They yeah. they actually still might be there. Wow! And I used to have these discussions because I used to watch these videos to learn about Islam and then things that I learned. I would have discussions about the stuff that I learned. You know, John chapter seven, this that, and I would have these discussions. And one thing that kind of motivates me is well. I don't like seeing injustice. I, I, I have a phobia to injustice. When mm-hmm. I see injustice, I feel like I have to do something about it. I just It's just innate. I think it's with everyone. But when I would see Islam being misrepresented, I felt that like my duty, like, I was like, come on, like, you know, like I was thinking, getting, like, I can be there and I can say this. And, you know, you're, you know, when you're there watching a boxing match, you're thinking, yeah, you do uppercut, you know, you mm-hmm. can do this. Yeah. yeah. You just, uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I had that in me. It's just this thing that I had inside me, you know, I thought that I can, you know, and when you go to the, <clears throat> when I went to Speaker's Corner, when I used to watch it, and when I went there, and bear in mind, I've been watching videos of Ahmed Dida, Zakir Naik, um, Sheikh Khalid Yassin, Abdul Rahim Green. So many people I've been watching and watching, and I'm getting, I'm, I'm learning things. So obviously I'm there watching, and when I went to the Speaker's Corner and I saw people misrepresenting Islam and talking about it, and then I couldn't hold myself. And when I, I, when I came out, that's when I realized the potential. And that's mm. what kind of, it was the injustice that I saw where I was like, how are these guys saying this? This is not true. And that motivated me, this, the injustice wow. that I saw. And I was like, I need to talk about this. So the injustice made me to study and study led me to implementing it. And wow. when I implemented it, it became a circle where I was like, okay, they're coming with this, I'm gonna come with this.